John for ShopAddict.com. Today I have the Ryobi 40 volt expanded power head and blower attachment to show you. Ryobi's come up with a nice alternative to have gas powered lawn equipment and uh, battery operated lawn equipment seems to be on the upswing right now. Technology is finally there to a point where it's feasible. Uh, it makes it nice and easy for the homeowner that doesn't want to be mixing gases, gas and oil, storing things with gas in it. Just plug your battery in and go. This unit is basically the power head up here and then you have your attachment and this is the blower attachment you can get a string trimmer you can get pole saw you can get all kinds of stuff basically there's a little knob on the side here and I'll show you the picture and then you tighten down the clamp very important especially like with the pole saw because this is going to want to rotate on you there's so much torque in there so get that nice and tight and your unit's ready to go um, with this blower it puts out, uh, they say 150 mile an hour wind, but um, a CFM wise it's like 279 CFM and it's made for hard surfaces and small lawns. So if you live like on a very large piece of land and you've got just nothing but trees, probably not what you're looking for, but if you're in the city environment or a small lawn or you don't have a lot of trees, mostly for grass and small leaves, this would be perfect. Um, it does a fine job. I've been using it around here. As a matter of fact, I gave it to my neighbor, who is a big Ryobi fan. Absolutely loves this thing. He's thinking about getting rid of his regular uh, uh, leaf blower and getting one of these because he likes how it handles better. Basically, there is a safety knob here and a trigger. As soon as you pull that, you'll hear the unit ramp up. Now, battery-operated stuff is typically very quiet. This one, I put a decibel beater on. It's right around 85 decibels. So if you're going to use it, make sure you put your hearing protection in. It's right there at the border of hearing protection. But um, it's nice with a two-handed operation. You can swing it around, keep it nice and low to the ground. Um, it's got a, they say an integrated scraper, but basically you just use the bottom of this to scrape off. If you've got something stuck, you can do that with it. Um, let me show you real quick how this works. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Um, like I said, I've been using it, mowed my lawn, had a lot of grass clippings, and the leaves are just starting to fall. So I've been keeping up with the leaves and blowing them off my driveway. And uh, it's a nice little unit. It's, it's easy to handle, it's quick to recharge. Basically pull the battery off the back, plug it in, charge it. There is a little gauge on the back, and I'll show you a picture that shows you a fuel gauge of how much battery life you have left. Um, does a fine job. So right now it's the time of year where you're going to have your leaves falling, grass clippings, final year, or final, final season of grass cutting. So if you're looking for a leaf blower to get you by and you don't want to be messing with the gas and you don't want a, you know, a Cadillac version where it's going to be blowing hurricane force winds, something easy to handle, um, take a look here at the 40 volt expanded line uh, blower. Um, you may find that you want the string trimmer or something else and it's a nice option you just hang it on the wall add your attachments. Until next time, I'm John for WorkshopAddict.com. Talk to you later.